hey guys welcome back to another youtube video here on my channel my name is foxy thank you so much for joining me here and today's video is going to be fat girl hacks so for bigger ladies you know i'm a plus size girl myself and i would really love to share some of the tips and tricks that i use in my daily life now a lot of these things that i'm going to be sharing with you they didn't just come overnight of course trial and error you know and even though i'm still learning other things about myself and what I can do to make myself a little bit more comfortable as a bigger size woman you understand what I say so yeah um, I hope this video will be very helpful to a lot of you ladies all right so let's get right all into right. it so hat number one so because I'm a triple D I am a triple D yes I am so I have really heavy breasts so of course you know that I'm going to be sweating a lot underneath my boobs and you know the brassiere i get uncomfortable at times especially when i'm having a really long day at work or it's hot you know what i mean so what i what i started to do to avoid the bumps because you know I, I get like a rash and my skin starts to strip and i'm sure this is not something that happens to only me so what i started to do i'm gonna be reading from my phone because i wrote i typed the tips down all right I use Dove Spray. So I, I don't use Roll On anymore. I use the Dove Spray to spray under my arm and I spray it under my breast. Or I use baby powder. Just dab a little baby powder underneath your breast to help keep you cool and nice for the entire day. You know, when you come home, you, know, you take a nice little shower and you're good to go. But I promise you, the baby powder, it does help. I'm not sure if it will help every single person because some of us perspire more than some. But it does help, you know, if you keep, you know, sometimes you get that little rowdy smell between your breasts. Because your boobs big and they're rubbing together and all of that. So the baby powder does help. So the next hack or the next tip or the next word of advice a lot of us ladies are very very guilty of this one you know i myself may be guilty at times but we have to wash the brazier them listen to me you have to change the brazier so them black brazier they will not wash when i wear them over and over and over we must wash these braziers ladies remember that we sweat we perspire you understand and all of them sweat there and days of sweat days of moldiness days of frozenness dip on the brazier and it dry up on the fabric and when you sweat again it give off another smell you probably have on perfume powder everything on on top of it, it we, we just have to take the brazier off and wash it all when you have beard it's easy take it off scrub 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 and hang it up in your bathroom so it can dry but we have to wash your brazier more often the bacteria and everything from this your, your sweat and so we just have to wash your brazier them ladies all right so that definitely helps you know it helps with any form of body odor that you may be giving off and you're wondering where it's coming from and you're trying you think you're doing everything but you're really not doing everything so check that just make sure say i wash the brazier or just buy a couple more braziers right all right so the next hack that i use you know a lot of us we're seeing our period you know we have our menses monthly or every three months however it is for you however your cycle go or whatever for me i used to have a lot of issue where my period you know would run back I'm walking, I literally just put on my, my sanitary napkin and not even five minutes and the whole of my clothes mess up. Even as an adult, I always wondered like, what the hell am I doing? I put on a big mama jammer pad and it's still run up in my back. I don't know why, you know, I used to wonder if it's because of the way my, my, butt, my butt shape or what, but it never run to the front, it's always running to the back. So, sometimes I will take off you know go to the bathroom check myself like the wool at the front of the sanitary napkin empty and just all at the back the the blood keeps running to the back so what i did i started to like kind of plug my butt crack meaning i just use a piece of um toilet paper just a small bit and put it right at the, my butt crack this so you understand so my figure said maybe i the fatter ladies or the bigger ladies this happened to me. I know I've never really had the discussion with anyone to find out, you know, if it happened to anybody else. But if you're if you're plus size or if you're a regular size lady and you're having issues with that, and I mean maybe I need to have a discussion with other ladies to find out if they are experiencing that kind of problem. 
so you just get us you know probably like one three four piece of sheet of toilet paper so every time you're gonna change your, your sanitary napkin you just you know fold it together nicely and just stick it between the butt crack it's like plugging the butt crack no shame no daddy you understand it work for me and i'm gonna have no problem so every time you go to the bathroom you will realize that you do actually get some blood on the toilet paper because it's like it stop it from coming all the way up and i mess up your clothes um also ladies when it comes to your sanitary napkins you must change your sanitary napkins very often for me let us say on the first day you're seeing your, your, your period i know it doesn't come heavy and whatever but still change it every time you, for, all right for me personally every time me pull my clothes down to use the bathroom i have to i can't but just cannot pull up at the same use napkin for my body i can't do it even if it's a little drop come out, I just can't do it. It's like my paranoid. I don't know, it just feel nasty and it feel disgusting. It just feel crony to me. You understand? So I would say probably like every hour and a half, you know, if you're having heavy flows and stuff, nobody have pee pee and bring up the, 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 the pad of our blood already. Once blood that blood in the sanitary napkin, dispose of it, ladies. I'm telling you. The, you're urinating, you sweat you're bleeding all of that come together i mean you're, you, you're on the road all day it's better to be changing very often so you don't have that stale blood smell like may just be frank may be don't hurt may just I'll give it to you exactly straight up right all of that that's something that will come together and give out that moly smell that fishy smell that rotten fish smell that and you don't want to have that because i've smelt people like that before you know them a la passy and them just smell raw you get me and people won't say anything to you a lot of times people won't say anything to you you get what i mean so people just automatically just are skin up them face and are judges so ladies just be mindful of that just just buy enough sanitary napkins and change your napkins often may i tell you save the embarrassment save your anything sometimes you go on a long journey stop go on bathroom change your sanitary napkin but i wait till it full and overflow you know say so you have every flow change the pad um re um regular na my girl nobody me nobody have to tell you that just change your pod you understand me and then you'll we'll save yourself embarrassment and frozenness all right that's good and always travel with an extra underwear or two you know just have a little purse um I, sorry i didn't have mine here always have a little extra two pod if you're a um tampon lady make sure you have um extra tampons extra pads always walk with extra in your bag please or in your car walk with extra you understand all right so that is for the pads the next thing oh one more tip with the period the double pad so i've done it before i'm not i'm not really comfortable with the with double padding because i have that issue my period runs back and messes up my clothes i started to try the double padding too so i'm gonna put one pad way up to your so to the front and one pad up to my bottom it helps me not to get my clothes messy but when i like it it feels too much like never want pampas or something so you can try that if you are more comfortable with doing the double padding all right wipes i know a lot of persons may be against using wipes but um I think wipes are very important to have whenever it is that you are on the road one of the things that i know that helps to um get rid of urine smell is being able to wipe your clitoris properly because they know said so the little hole there right this in your clit where your urine come from and this will leave a little funky smell especially if you urinate often like me I drink a lot, so I urinate a lot. If I'm cold, I just urinate a lot. I just have pee pee and I go on. So, you understand? So, for me personally, I hate using toilet paper. I have to definitely not have no choice. I have to definitely pull a piece of toilet paper. And even if I use the toilet paper, I don't wipe inside the, 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 the hole. Can I say that? But try to wipe my clitoris. Even when I pee, I have a habit. If I use my two finger, pull up my clitoris like this and pee. Because I don't want the pee pee run back. You understand it's just a habit for me you see if i go to a public restroom you're not catch me sit down on the toilet you know you're not catch me sit down on the toilet none at all coming on one no crab blows crawl up on me you understand so me as a girl now i always find a way for just cock up over the toilet i'm gonna hold up my clitoris same way because sometimes sometimes your clitoris fall asleep 
you know it's not stimulated you know erected nothing so it does fall asleep you know think about when a penis is sleeping yeah so me, me pull up my clitoris so the pp shot goes all the way down in the toilet because i do not want it to go and you know box so because your clitoris said so i'm gonna want my own for shoot go back so so i pull it up so it goes straight in the toilet and then but get my little baby wipes i always have baby wipes i'm gonna just wipe my clitoris but non-fragrance like in amount of fragrance but i always use the organic wipes um you have parent choice that you can get in walmart woolly organic wipes they both you have flushable wipes and have no fragrance no sweetie sweetie you don't need no sweetie sweetie for your pom pom you understand just you just want to keep it clean all right so that's that for the p all right and ladies make sure say for me people are them so them they use this and them they use wipes i'm gonna know all them do that no matter how much water you drink pp a pp and pp still have a little smell you get to me and if you're urinating for a couple of times throughout the day of course it's going to leave a smell and your panty go have a little smell or your underwear or whatever it is that you wear under there it is going to have a smell you know especially when the time you that look here girl you know can't tell me on the bacteria with the sweat and everything your pum pum got frozen so you need to keep your pum pum clean you have to do something you understand this your this your scratch out my daylight so that is why i don't want to use toilet paper if you're comfortable with using that fine but i would recommend especially for the plus size ladies you don't know so we'll legs them fat we'll legs them close them and rub them and sweat all of that a boil up and a bubble up under this so you need to keep the little pump pump fresh all right and when you pump pump fresh you feel more confident and if you're walking out and i go on you step out and you go on with yourself keep the pump pump fresh just walk with a little pack of non fragrance baby wipes and that will help all right um where am i next one is the let me show you no, i don't want to touch that one as yet um shaving 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 you must shave i know that some of you ladies probably you know you just don't believe in shaving hair and stuff but listen to me now look here you see if you never remember say this is a plus size girl video you see if you're fat and that's the truth your pump pum got sweat the hair molecules it, i just have a bag of sweat in the one down there so don't listen at your pump pum full of flesh it a got sweat girl like look here it a got sweat it a got it a got smell if you're not shaved, the wool of them ear, they and them something there, like you have to shave. Proper hygiene. You have to practice proper hygiene. You understand? I'm in a business too much time. You want them to say you be a good man in time or whatever. Once you're going to be on the road, up and down, moving up and down, you have to use the bathroom. Your pump pump is going to need. You need to shave to keep it nice and bald and clean. I'm not talking about to keep it that, that way for no, no man or nothing. For your own self, your own proper hygiene. Less itching. If you even have to use, shave it two three times for the month like you gotta do it like you have to do it you have to do it for help with the hygiene especially for people who have high body odor because some people you know them suffer with high body odor but because they don't practice these things it's even worse you get me i say so ladies if you're on the plus size side you need and you need to shave your butt crack too like you know shave your butt crack they, like when you're you're do a number two may i try to say too much right probably can't say when you do a number two and no matter what time you wipe with wipes and toilet paper shit particles are left on the hair <laughs> you understand me i said straight up the do the particles left on the hair no matter how much you wipe no matter how much you whatever you get me i say you and make sure say you wipe good you see that one wipe there's someone wipe like when a man that one wipe there no work you have to wipe 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 and then after you use the tile paper and wipe and you don't see nothing more come out then you use your wipes and you wipe good and probably I'll, you know do a little twirl with the wipes and your finger and clean it all properly remember so we're gonna wash your hand and them somebody but you have to clean it all properly properly because your asshole sweats right it sweats so me no fear fuck say if you don't wipe it properly and you have on your clothes and whatever you're up and down all over the place like the way i do you see the juices from your vagina i don't know about nobody else but we can't tell you what happened to me the sweat from your your, your ass crack your juices from your vagina sometimes you're there probably you're over late so you you know you're, you're having discharge and stuff like that it runs back everything for me run back 
right so i know that uncomfortable feeling and you know you you, you just don't want to have no nothing for doing no poop around you want to make sure so everything clean so when all of my sweat and my juices come together i'm know so that now give off a good smell so i have to do what i have to do to keep that area clean all right ladies um the next thing so we're shaving our, our vagina we're shaving our butt crack and you shave it under arm we are supposed to know that if you choose to you know some people don't grow a lot of hair but that's fine if you only grow like a little bit of hair but for people well like me you, you need to shave like no argument about it you need to shave um oh my god this apart here about sex when it comes to sex ladies if you're not so confident in how you smell, no shame in it again. Tell me some man say, wait, I need to go to the shower to get a nice little shower. Don't go like you're an idiot. Come on, I know all to say it. I'm going to lay down with the man and you know, say, your pum pum probably not smell so up. Better you're sure, say, your pum pum smell up, then you're going to lay down. You understand what I say? Don't make, because I'm a force you and I'm a rush or whatever. Say, Mr. Man, please to wait. I need to go and take a shower. All right, ladies, it is so important. You see, if you don't feel confident when you have sex, you know, in a sense, you just have sex for the man. I'm mean, gonna believe that that's somebody. You're not supposed to have sex for just the man. You're supposed to have sex for yourself. You know what I've come to? Like, listen to me. Foolishness. Like, just just take a shower. Wash your little pum pum good. And when you're washing your vagina, you need to skin it, skin over the flesh. Um, Pull back. No, not skin over. Pull back the flesh on your clitoris and wash it especially if you're with somebody who loves conilingus you know you have to keep the pom pom area that's a clean nice and fresh all right wash under your breast them wash under your breast because the sweat and everything under this i need to come out to them can nice and fresh if ever man you love kiss up your body and name something that you have to keep them here then nice and clean all right um Oh yeah, and your partner needs to take a shower too. I, I wrote this down. Your partner needs to take a shower too because a dirty dick can throw your PhD off. And a girl in the itching, itching thing. I mean, I know if you like scratch, scratch, with your pump pum and scratch, scratch you. Mm -mm. You understand me? Eh, 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 eh. Nope. That's a wrong bang. So, make me some man, take a shower too. Take a shower together and make it sexy. You understand me? I say? So, nothing wrong with that. When a pee pee, all right. I know some man love go man and just skin out them all and have sex so I can't do that you understand? I'm dip on the road all day I walk up and down, I piss piss me is a woman, I pee pee right through I don't know, I drink a lot of water, I drink enough so I always a pee pee I always a pee pee, I have a person there where I have to stop and pee pee right? my, my blood I can't hold nothing I have to let it out so, you gotta take a shower mr man have to take a shower because mr man a pee pee all day too so you don't really want him to take that steel body that, that steel sweaty pee pee penis and insert that inside you gotta think about these things ladies you have to think about these things you can't just because you know oh, and you're hot and in a heat you just jump and just do whatever and then you when you don't you have a problem with the pump pump no you've got to get a doctor because your pump pump and scratch your leg when you know what because of bacteria because of dirt you get me yeah all right so I'm gonna show you some of the products that I use to help keep my vagina clean and smelling good with everything else. So this is my wash. And you see, all right, let's do this. So I make sure you can see it's the VH Essentials. You can get this to purchase on my Amazon store. The link is right there in my bio. All right. This, I love this. This doesn't have no fragrance to it or nothing. But just use a little pea size and wash my vagina and it, 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 it wash it good. I tell you my pum pum well fresh when me use this. No doubt about it. But now I look for nothing that smell like strawberry and cucumber. I don't need all of that because all of them things, I don't know. I don't want no extra for God's sake. We know all of them something that give people cancer. But just want something that will keep my vagina clean. Because pump pump have smell, and pump pump have a normal, natural smell. Because your pump pump have a smell. But if it smell like pump pump, you understand me? I don't need if it smell like no roses. Mm -mm, we don't need that. But just want to make sure say it's healthy. That's the aim. That's the pre. So, you can order this from the link in my bio on Amazon. I think this is like $15 no like this is like 10 bucks this is like 10 bucks 10 us dollars then we have the insert 
after period i love to use this for like three days this is how big they are and these they're like cl them clear you know for example have you ever been to the doctor and they give you um the insert like if you have yeast infection or so um the insert they will go in and come out so messy me hate that it coming out the cream and it coming out the pill but this one come out like like you come <laughs> You know, clear well. Some woman come and it creamy, but this is clear. So you know, so once you're gonna use this, you put it in at night. Best to put it in at night, and then by morning you just wet up all your bed. will wet up the way it come out, enough and flushy. You understand? So you know, so to rinse out all of the bacteria were in there. So you understand if you struggle with with smelly vagina too, I think you can try these. These are very good for um. For bacteria in the vagina the suppositories so there you go let me tell you what it says so it um it's a prebiotic vaginal vaginal suppository ph balance and it has a lactic acid to help and it protects it naturally protects against odor um and it maintains balance freshness and confidence nothing not else like one girl when time you pump pump fresh you know nobody can talk to you. you just feel good you know you feel good once you feel good you look you look good you feel good everything everything just connect and then we have this one this is my daily supplement for my other jj cranberry my cranberry pills all of this the pre <coughs> the probiotics um cranberry pill the wash and the suppositories they're all vh essentials you can get all of these to order um from my amazon storefront all of them all right i just take one of these every day i don't like the taste of cranberry so these are easier for me to take the supplements right it's very much easier it's a capsule you swallow and go see one little capsule one every day and you have no pum pum problem you're good help with order just the same so i'll try them come together you must and the try them together is like probably like 30 dollars all right guys so that's pretty reasonable for take care of your pum pum one less wig one less outfit and buy them thing for take care of your vagina all right i'm trying to not get, have this video being too long um all right all right all right okay hack get your right bra size so you need to purchase the proper bra you need to get your brassiere like you need to measure your brassiere you don't have to go nowhere for measure your, your the size of your um your breasts right the information is on google there are lots of videos on youtube that you can watch for see how to measure your breasts to get your proper bra size ladies come on 2021 youtube is like a mini university everything depends on what you need for know you need to start buying a proper bra size. So when you don't have on your proper bra size, you're uncomfortable. You look uncomfortable. Now you have on, you're a triple D and you're wearing one, one, one forty D or whatever. The bras you're going to hop in your neck back or on your surround at the back. The strap them are going to dig, dig dug in your shoulder. It's so uncomfortable. You have to move, move. You have to adjust, adjust. A fix, fix. The cup of the bra doesn't properly hugs your breast. Like, come on, ladies, you know? Invest in a two good brazier, eat up Ashley Stewart or something. In the Lane Bryant. For the woman who have the big big breast and we gotta do better. You look better in your clothes, you feel more confident, you're comfortable. You know want comfort. Come on now, ladies, and have to do better. We don't fat already in so what we're gonna do. Just make it look good. You know, a lot of times the reason why we have self-esteem issues is because we don't feel good because we're not taking care of ourselves. You you have to take care of yourself. You don't fat enough and you like the fact that you fat, lose the weight. You know what if you lose the weight, stop the weep of eating. Or go to a doctor, get some help or whatever. If you're not comfortable with your fat, but once you're fat, just take care of yourself. You get what me I say? You gotta invest in 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 a in some proper brassiers. Get your proper size and buy your size. Stop by look squeeze up something them way. Make you look like me not even know what to say. Alright. Um and the brassier them help cover your 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 your, your tire them around so you know my bra them help cover my fat roll them around the back around so my tire tire my call them, you get me? Your brassier come down your sand draw down and yeah, you feel good in your clothes. Alright, um drink water listen me no one nobody tell me no foolishness about when you can't drink listen to me i pick me something like that 
I can't drink water, Lord. I like how water is. Water not a taste. And that is it. Water has no taste. I'm telling you something. Oh me. So I did younger. Water could touch my mouth. But I had the craniest skin ever. My eczema would have killed me. My eczema would kill me. Especially when it's summertime. My face used to stay real bad. I mean, my face is a work in progress. My, 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 my trouble with acne. You understand? My trouble with acne. But my tell you, my face used to stay by the My nose used to bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Mother used to hold me down for bus bump like crazy. And I be a big fat sitting come out of them. But I'm telling you guys, and I'm promising you, you cannot regret drinking. Miss, me, myself, still don't drink enough water. I still don't drink enough water. So what my try for do? My try for do is always have a bottle of water readily available beside me. Because I like for drink. I love drink. I'm a liquid person. I love to drink. Right? So instead of me just grabbing a sugary drink and them something there, I'm going to try to grab my bottle of water. Always have the water from you. Whether you fill up your bottle or you buy a bottle of water and always have water. So when you're thirsty, just grab it. If you don't like the, the, to drink the freshness of the water or whatever, squeeze one lime in there. You know, you can do water infused. What do you call it? Fruit infused or infused fruit. I don't know. Whatever. Water, you put the, the fruits the minute and drink that. I don't like that. I prefer the plain water. I just wrap it down. When I'm ready, I lick down all five back to back to back. Like I feel like something needs to catch up. And yes, when you drink the water, it helps ease down the urine smell. You understand? It gets rid of enough of the impurities. It is like a detox. Yeah, take time to clean out your liver. Mm -hmm. So yes, the people who pee pee and then pee pee soaring. Listen to me. Yeah, some people when they go in the bathroom go pee pee. You, know, you can't go in there and then come out, you know. In the smell ring, he smell ring, he smell. Don't let that be you, my my love. Don't let that be you. Drink your water. When you drink your water and take care of don't so trust me, you're not gonna have that problem then. Not because we're fat, mean to say we have to smell bad. No. No. You understand me? Don't be that girl that you pee pee and nobody can go in behind you. Don't be that girl. So drink your water. Stop saying you can't drink water. It helps with your skin. It helped me a whole lot and i'm telling you this is not just for the video i'm telling you water has helped me a whole lot i mean i try my best to increase my intake at the time i try my best more drink up to a gallon right now because i see the benefits may i tell you all right <clears throat> um oh yeah so and when you go like if you know you, you know you make a nice cute little date with your with your boo and you know when i go link up later and have some great sex and whatever drink water baby baby girl for the day don't drink no juice do not drink no juice if you want to eat like your pineapple and your melon and them look something there fine but no matter i'm um, drinking the bag of juice first of all look if i sugar will probably make you start poop poop and you need to go to the bathroom, you're bloated, and all of that. Just drink some water. Especially if your partner loves cunnilingus, just drink some water. Keep your pump pump fresh. After everything else, so you practice and keep your pump pump fresh throughout the day, just drink water. Drink water and keep down the fresh. Alright. Um, another fat girl hack. You don't know, I believe in getting your toes done. You know, sometimes to me myself slack off, I'm gonna have time for God and nail tech, so I do it myself. But recently just buy a lot of foot baths so I can start scrub my foot more often until I'm gonna try for finding time, for God and nail tech, blah blah blah. Like get your toes done. Get keep your foot clean. Keep your foot clean. Not because you know some men have a fetish for foot, but it just looks better, you know. You, you're a plus size chick and you're, you know, you're looking clean, you're looking sexy, you know, you have your cute little slippers and something. It does look, it does look good. It does look like a nice, well-kept woman. You understand me? I say, me not have a fingernail, your toes. You know, foot on a, a toenail, just keep your foot looking clean. I the worst thing to see a girl, your foot done for her and it just spread out and just look dirty and back like this, a bust up, bust up and something. Sorry, the camera rock a while ago. You got to take care of yourself, baby girl. You have to take care of take care of yourself no so i saw this alice said it long um all right so the next one is <laughs> so we talked about the cranberry pills and the vaginal wash all right so i think this is going to be the last one um 
right all right so no i think i kind of covered everything so yes ladies if there's anything that i'm missing you can always comment it you know let us help each other to be better because as women we still learn our body change the older we get our body changes so you know sometimes i really afraid i try different things but i hope some of what i've shared with you ladies really 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 help help you and just let me know you know send me a message you guys can find me on instagram at confidence by foxy you can find me on tiktok at confidence by foxy or on ig as well foxy's house of luxuries or just leave a comment all right um so don't forget to please please like share and subscribe to my channel please guys please 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 it shows me that you're actually here and you're listening and you're interested in what it is that i have to say all right and you can always share what um the different type of videos that you want to see me do or whatever topics you want me to talk about i am open to that all right all right thank you very much for joining me here for another video